navigation should be taken seriously, even by small craft operators. Navigation is a continuous process of laying out courses and distances, checking position, establishing position, predicting, changing, updating and verifying, using every opportunity and means to accomplish this. In this section, we are going to look at radar as a navigational tool and learn how we can put it to maximum use as such. We will begin by looking at the radar scope itself. We will then go on to look at tools for navigation and at relative motion in regard to collision avoidance. For the purpose of this presentation, we shall assume that we have a competent person at the helm and controls and the radar and nav station. Now, with uh, dramatic uh, advances in marine electronics, uh, the boat, small boat operator really never had it so good. Radars have become smaller, uh, more reliable, and certainly a lot easier to use. A relative new innovation with radar is the interfacing of a Lorand set as well as a flux gate compass. Now this opens up an entirely new scene for the radar operator because positional information and latitude and longitude is displayed directly on the screen. Directional information is displayed on the screen with the heading displayed over the heading flasher. Uh, the bearing cursor, electronic bearing cursor that is, will indicate the magnetic bearings to the various targets of interest. The variable range marker will indicate nautical miles or fractions thereof to the various targets of interest. In other words, the radar really becomes an entirely navigational uh, center where, with all these different informations available at a glance. Uh, in spite of all the advanced and automatic features built into many of these radars today, it is absolutely essential that the operator and radar observer does understand the fundamentals about radar collision avoidance plotting as well as navigational techniques. Basically, there are three types of radar available for the small craft operator, namely a raster scan, a conventional radar as it is known these days, and now uh, finally the color radar. In conventional radars, the sweep paints the target on the screen at every revolution. Due to fading of targets between sweeps and the need for a viewing hood to 